Hi everyone, we're going to find the constant a, or the range of a for a quadratic equation, x squared minus ax minus 2b squared equals zero. And our condition is, it has to have two different real number solutions, which are x equals 4 plus or minus square root of 2a. So basically what we're going to do is complete the square for this and we have this condition as x equals 4 plus or minus square root of 2a. So what we're looking for is to get a solution as x equals some p plus or minus square root of q and find these here. <laughs> Alright, so basically if I take my x squared minus ax and I move, this is a constant. If I move it over on this side I get 2b squared. Now when you complete the square, what you do is you take half of your a, so it's a divided by 2, and then you square it. So this is going to give you a squared divided by 4. Alright, and then this side is a perfect square trinomial, and you can write as x, and you take your minus, and then you just submit this, a divided by 2 squared which is going to equal a squared divided by 4 plus 2b squared. <clears throat> now for the right hand side I'm going to go ahead and get the common denominator as 4. So that's going to be a squared plus, um, if I have a 4 here I have to multiply this by 4, so that's going to be 8b squared. Now when you square root both sides, you have to do plus and minus here. So you're going to get x minus a divided by 2 equals plus or minus square root of a squared plus 8b squared divided by 4. And solving for x, remember we're trying to make it look like something like that. So I'm going to have x equals a divided by 2 plus or minus square root of a squared plus 8b squared divided by 4. Alright, now that I have it looking something like this, this piece here equals your 4. So we have a divided by 2 equals 4. That means our a is going to equal 8. And then this 2a is going to equal all of this right there. So 2a equals a squared plus 8b squared divided by 4. So basically we have 8a, as you cross multiply, and a is going to be 8 equals, um, again, 8 uh, squared is going to be 64 uh, plus 8b squared. All right, so basically we have um, 64 equals 64 plus 8b squared. Remember this 4 is gone because I crossed it up here. Now when you subtract these two, you're just going to get 0 equals 8b squared. Therefore your b is just going to equal 0. We don't have to find b, we only have to find a, but um, there it is. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.